In this video, we're going to review how the BR4 rangefinder from Revic uses uh, wind calculation modes to calculate a ballistic solution. As we've developed, you know, shooting techniques, lots of field experience, I found that most hunting situations don't require the full software suite, all the aerodynamic jump and the spin drift and all this stuff. Because if you're shooting, you know, five, six, seven hundred yards, you just don't need all that other information. A, a standardized ballistic calculation is more than sufficient. But what we have found is that quick access to all the menu information, all the data, all the ballistic solutions, everything is really, really important in those hunting situations because sometimes you only have a few seconds that define make or break on a hunting uh, a trip. So what we've built a, is a feature called base wind and it's, it's kind of different because what it essentially does, it assumes a horizontal, you know, perpendicular to your line of fire. It a, assumes a crosswind amount and you can program the base amount. So in, in this rangefinder, I've got it set up for a five mile an hour base wind. You know, some people might want to do a one mile an hour or a 10 mile an hour. It's, it's however you think and however you work. You can even start working on those wind numbers for your projectiles and, and get even a little bit more sophisticated with this device. But let's just imagine a shot at 640 yards with a base wind. What we're essentially doing is we're saying the wind could be coming from the left or from the right we don't care. And what that precludes us from doing is combining a spin drift calculation. So when we do a base wind mode, we're cutting out all the other wind factors like aero jump and spin drift from our ballistic solution. So generally I recommend a base wind for that sub thousand yard type shooting situation. But what's really nice is you can just pick up the device, you can push the button, take a range, and it'll calculate that wind solution for you. And if, if your wind is a little less than five, you can scale it down. Let's say it's a 10, then you could double it, or however you want to set up your math for your situation. For me, the five mile an hour uh, wind bracket is usually how I try to estimate my wind. It's either zero, five, or 10, and that'll get me most situations pretty well. So if I go into the device with base wind mode, and I take a range, at this target, all right, I'm 629, and my five mile an hour base wind says one minute of angle for wind. Uh, elevation was 10 minutes. Uh, I don't have this set up with a BDC range, but that's available as well. Um, so 10 minutes up and one minute for wind. And if you look in the display, it shows arrows going both directions. So what you have to do as a shooter is you have to say, well, if the wind's coming from the right, then I need to hold to the right or dial accordingly in my scope. If the wind's coming from the left, I adjust that way as well. So again, the wind, the base wind feature is kind of a direction insensitive solution for quick and dirty, uh, you know, fast data access, you know, sub thousand yard type shooting. Now, what if you've got a really big wind or you've got a really sophisticated uh, shot, say it's a, a 1200 yard shot. In those situations, what we do is we use vector mode wind. And the way we do that is just like you do in your ballistics app or any other ballistics calculating device. You put in the direction the wind's going, the heading, and then you put in the magnitude or, or the speed of the wind. And so in this case, let's say we've got a wind that's coming from 10 o'clock and it's 10 miles an hour. What we'll do is we'll fire up the device and all you have to do to enter the wind vector input is start moving some arrows. So if I go arrow down, then it takes me to that 10 o'clock position. And then you hit the mode button once to select that, and then it allows you to change the speed. So I'm gonna increase that up to 10 miles per hour. So now I've got a 10 o'clock at 10, and you can either press the fire button to exit and just start taking a range, or you can just uh, press the fire button once just to save it. And if you remember from our, our button video, the mode selects and advances, and the fire saves and exits. So w once you have your wind vector in, you press fire, and if you just keep holding, it'll just take that range. And then on that long target, let's see, I've got one picked out here at 9.57. Then my wind uh, call is 3.6 
and it says I need to correct to the left. So because I've got a 10 o'clock wind, I need to hold into the wind 3.6. Now in this situation, it's gonna be adding close to a minute of spin drift into that equation. So if we dialed in like a two o'clock wind and for 10, we wouldn't see 3.6, we'd see another number. And this also turns on, if you have the settings set up in the settings menu, it'll also turn on the aerodynamic jump and the earth base effects, which is uh, Eovtos effect and some Coriolis. So it, the, if you think about it, the base wind is like a sub thousand yard, the vector wind is greater than thousand yard, really tough shot conditions. For more videos on all the cool things you can do with this rangefinder, make sure you read the online manual or go check out more of our Revic videos.